Today on the show, we're going to be discussing the book entitled Black Wings. The subtitle, Courageous Stories of African Americans in Aviation and Space History. The book is written by Von Hardesty. What they was willing to take, you know, the racism that they endured, you know, hey, you don't want to teach me how to fly, fly a plane? Okay, guess what? I'll find somebody to give right. me private lessons. Right, and they had or to go yeah. to another country. Right, or go to another fly. country. Or, you know, <laughs> fast forward to guys who are willing to fight for their country, but have to go to Canada to learn how to fly and right. fight for their country and then come back before you have the Tuskegee Airmen. Right, right, you right. Know, yeah, and, now, and all the stuff we're talking about now is before it's pre the Tuskegee Which is just ama right. Right. amazing to me. But, I mean, but, there is, the Tuskegee Airmen is almost just the scratch of the surface right. in the history of black aviation. And, and during the Great Depression, these people were buying airplanes right. And, right. and hiring their own but, uh, uh, p trainers. Not to mention they was buying airplanes, but they was buying, buying hoopty airplanes. I mean, these airplanes was basically unflyable, but they would fix them and they would fly them. They were so determined to, to be in the air and be a part of this this new thing that they was willing to risk their lives. And, and they patched planes up and they flew them in the air and they like, okay, the plane installed on them in the air. What do you do? Okay, let's find a field and let's, right. let's land it. Yeah, I and love let's that. patch it up and let's get back in the air. Barnstormers were people who took these airplanes and basically did tricks in the air with these airplanes and Bessie Coleman said that she she did tricks like the tailspin and banking and loop to loop and, and, and all these things and she was a very flamboyant um, uh, person and she was also a self promoter and she knew how to get in people's face and that's why she was so popular. But in, she made in a fatal age. mistake. And her death was was tragic because you know she didn't have on a parachute nor seat belt. And uh, when she was ejected from the plane, she broke every bone in her body. But, um, there's this other guy called w Willie Suicide Jones. And what this guy did, he got the name Suicide because of how he bailed out of these airplanes. He bailed out at some 26,000 feet and just nosedived all the way to the ground. And, and then wait 2,000 feet just before to right. release his parachute. Just before he hit yeah. the ground yeah. and everybody's like, ooh. One day she went to visit the, the Defender paper and I'd have liked to have been in that room at that moment. <laughs> they said she was so beautiful. She walked in there with all her gear, all her get up. She said, they said that the, all the typists, all, everybody that was typing just stopped typing. The typewriters just stopped. <laughs> right, And right. then she walked in the room and she talked to the editor or whoever, and he didn't take her serious, but she was adamant about what she was saying, so he decided to come out and give him publicity, and he was glad yeah, she, she did. Yeah, I think she took him on a flight. And, right, And right. that's kind of what won him over. Um, but he said he didn't, he didn't believe that she was skilled enough until they landed. So <laughs> right, basically right. throughout the whole flight, this guy is right. like shaking in his boots. Every other pilot, let's say they have to jump through a hoop. A black pilot has to jump through a flaming hoop right. with mm -hmm. gasoline pants on, right. you know, to be a pilot. So by the time they're up in the air fighting against the Germans, they're way above yeah. because right. they've yeah. had to go through right. so many things right. Right. Yeah. just and to get to that point. And at one point they said they didn't lose one of their escorts. Exactly. Their planes would escort, you know, these other planes. And they would escort they the bombers. They were always in perfect right. formation. And, then next thing you know, and Benjamin they made wanted sure. Right, but he made then, sure, yeah. he was like, you do not leave them. That's you right, stick you, with you, them, you don't leave no your wingman. His and strategic uh, uh, backing uh, engineered that, and they never lost the flight. And then all of a sudden, the, the white guys, they wanted the Tuskegee Airmen right. to be their escort. Right. They, they were requesting them. Right. You know, right. and, and a lot of times they didn't know, and you know, they didn't really go into this in the book, but the white bomber pilots, they said, well, those guys with the red tails. Right, the red you tails. Know, because yeah, their, yeah, their tails yeah. are painted red, so right. I want those guys to escort me. Right, and, and, and they don't was, lose anybody. That was Benjamin um, O. Davis's unit mm -hmm. um, in the Tuskegee Airmen. They flew these P-51 Mustang red right. tails. They painted right. the tails of all of these airplanes red so that you can identify them. And these guys are just unbelievable. But, but, but it's, it's amazing how uh, they wanted to keep them out of the service but they groomed themselves, they went through everything, they jumped through barriers to get there, and when they got there, they was very much needed. Yeah. Very much oh, yeah, needed. Yeah. If I they think weren't one there. of them made a, a description about how he, he did what he only saw in the flight simulation. I think he said in six minutes how he was shooting other enemy planes down, and he had only seen that in the simulation, and then he looked at his watch and said, 
we I did that in four minutes. Right. You know, he had right, been right. knocking people down. Yeah, and in, there was this one, there minutes. was one of, one of those guys, I forget his name, but it was like in one day he had three, right. three kills right. in one day. And they're like, that's unheard of. Right. Because if you make a kill, I mean, first of all, you're in the air. Could you imagine being on the ground, somebody shooting at you and you shooting back at them? Well, these guys are in the air right. shooting at each other, right? right? So if you're shooting, if you're in a dog fight and you make a kill, you come back home. That's it. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Good day's work. Right. right. Good day's work. But this right. guy. But they're like, flying really? through debris, and he's like, I hope I'm not going to hit anything. You know, right. Because right. the thing through. exploded. Right. The, right. He exploded the plane, and it's like all of the debris is coming at him, and he's trying to avoid getting hit by the debris from the plane amazed. explosion. I We've only got one more minute left on the show, but I want to get a thumbs up or thumbs down on the book Black Wings. Gavin, thumbs up or thumbs I down? I give it a thumbs up. I hope everyone gets a chance to read it. Bonita. Definite thumbs up. Tony. Excellent history lesson. Excellent. I give the book a thumbs up. There is not any, you can't say enough about the book Black Wings.